Welcome to the Johnson & Grokey monthly update. I'm here with Richard and John and myself, Nicole, and we're here to just give you a little bit of an update for March. So I'll throw it straight to Richard. Thanks, Nick. Um, so from the business services team, we haven't got much to report this month. It's just, um, as anyone would be aware, JobKeeper finished last weekend, so that's finished that side of things. Um, if you haven't done your 2020 tax returns, the deadline is 17th of May, so please get your info into us as soon as you possibly can. Um, if you are running short of time for a pretty good reason, e.g. COVID related, please let us know so we can apply for an extension as soon as possible. The other thing that I want to mention is that in April and May we start to do tax planning for our clients. So if you're running a business, just give us a quick call or send us an email sometime in April or May. We'll have a look at your figures so far this year, see if there's any last minute tax planning you want done before 30th of June. Other than that, it's back to you. Awesome. Oh, and John? I think um, I'm thank you. Here. Thank you, Nicole. Probably two or three things. I think one of the most significant things that's uh, occurred in markets is the change in the 10-year government bond rate, both in the US and Australia. And um, the US rate's probably one of the most important interest rates mm -hmm. around the world. Mm -hmm. So the US 10-year bond rate is actually probably nearly three times what it was two months ago. In Australia, it's more than doubled. That's a very strong leading indicator for the direction of particularly fixed interest rates. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I'll be interested, Nicole, in what you have to say <laughs> potentially about fixing rates. Yeah. So bond rates rising is probably a good sign in, the in terms of growth, mm -hmm. but it will change some of the dynamics in markets. Mm -hmm. I'm of the view that, and I think we're of the view, that there's a bit more uncertainty with JobKeeper ceasing. Mm -hmm. So I think that's, that's still an unknown and um, how that plays out and how many people get back to full-time employment will be mm -hmm. a question. I think that'll unfold in the next quarter. So from a risk point of view, precious metals have been very soft over the last three or four months because markets have been strongly positive. Mm -hmm. um, we're probably thinking there'll be some sort of uh, weakness potentially into May. And um, then after that, depending on the outcome of particularly JobKeeper and uh, employment in Australia. Mm -hmm. I think markets will probably continue to go higher because we have enormous levels of liquidity mm -hmm. in markets because governments have provided this very strong stimulus. Mm -hmm. So that probably summarises it for now. Thank awesome. you. Thank you, John. <coughs> um, and I'll touch on the fixed rates just really quickly now because we are starting to see five-year fixed interest rates creeping up just a little bit. The one to four-year fixed rates are still holding steady about yeah, low twos are 1.99, so we're not really seeing those change at the moment, but we are seeing the five years sort of creep up a little bit. So, yeah, that might just give us a bit of an indicator there. But, um, yeah. Still so, Nicole, can I ask, so would it be a good time if people have got a level of particularly business or commercial debt to mm -hmm. say, well, look, maybe it's a time now to consider fixing some of it if that's... Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, definitely <clears throat> get in touch with us and we can talk about those fixed rate options. Um, and a couple of updates uh, from the mortgage services side of things. So banks are easing requirements on bank statements now, which a lot of banks, some are still um, needing all those bank statements, but that's because they're um, now using comprehensive credit reporting, um, which is a good thing and a bad thing, a good thing that you don't have to provide as many documents up front, but um, potentially a, a bad thing, or not a bad thing, but um, it just means that you need to have a two year clean credit history because the banks will be able to see a full two years uh, comprehensive history. So um, you need to be paying all your bills and your debts on time because um, the banks will be able to see that in the report. Um, banks are not, a lot of banks are now not doing fully assessed pre-approvals, which is super important. Um, if you're getting a pre-approval, you're wanting to go to auction, um, it needs to be fully assessed, not just an auto-generated response on those. So get in touch with us. We know the banks that are doing those fully assessed pre-approvals for you. Um, and yeah, just with JobKeeper ending, uh, with changing employment, that is a massive thing for um, banks. Banks want to see consistency and stability in your income. So um, yeah, if you're thinking about changing jobs, please do let us know and we can let you know how that uh, may influence your loan and your application. So just a really sort of quick snapshot from us. Um, thanks so much and get in touch if you have any questions at all. Thanks.